Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner related videos, DIY tutorials, budget videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, guys, so it is Monday night. This is actually tutorial video number two, as I mentioned in the other video where I showed you how to make... Um, five different laminated envelopes with two 12 by 12 pieces of paper. Uh, I'm just, I'm running out of time before the whole Black Friday sale that I'm having in my Etsy shop. And so I just wanna come on here and just get things done. So what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you how you can make a little mini commonplace journal with some six by six paper pads and some copier weight paper and this is also going to be the free handmade item that I'm going to be giving away as a thank you gift to everyone who purchases from my shop between November 27th through December 1st and it'll be one of these sets and I'll, I'll show you at the end of the video what I mean by that uh, per invoice so let's just get right in now I pick these up specifically for this project and um, I love florals and I love pink and green and so these were just right up my alley so I think we'll pick something from here and I like that it's a heavier weight and I like that it is double sided so let's just pick something. And we'll do this one right here. Okay, so for each of these little mini commonplace journals, you need one sheet of six by six paper. And then this is just regular copier weight paper. We will do, we'll cut five sheets. I don't know if we're gonna use them all, but we'll, we'll cut them. And if you've never heard of a commonplace journal, it has actually been around for centuries. I actually have this one right here where it's a place to keep things that you've read or quotes or just things where you have it all in one common place. It isn't necessarily a journal. It isn't necessarily a planner. Um, really, it's just um, warehousing specific things that you were writing down in one place uh, that speak to you, whether it's Bible verses or music lyrics or poems or things from movies or whatever. That's really what this is about. Now you ex can expand upon that and do journaling about what you've read or what you've seen or what you've written. Now for this one, um, I'm not going to assume that the six inch mark is there. I'm actually going to measure it on my paper cutter because it actually is a little bit lower than the bottom of the hole. So that's going to be our cover. And then for this, because this is a standard US copy paper size, which is eight and a half by 11. Yeah, the long side is 11. I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'm going to cut this at five and a half. Oh, that doesn't. Oh no, cause that's the eight side. Ooh. Guys, guys, <laughs> it's a good thing I looked. So we're gonna cut the long side into two equal sections. So this is both five and a half. And then we're going to cut this into a perfect square of five and a half. Now, to be perfectly honest, I'm probably going to toss this or just keep this as scratch paper, but that isn't anything that I'm gonna be using in this journal. And then we'll cut this at a perfect square 
at five and a half. And if you're a little um, too big or too small, it actually doesn't really matter. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do, more so for the cover than for the sheets, is I'm going to figure out what my cover is going to be. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to score it because this is um, pretty thick paper and I want to make sure I have a nice crease. And because it's a six by six square, I'm going to score it right down the middle at three. Now I want this more plain side facing out and then the more decorated side facing in. But again, if you are making one of these, um, you get to choose what side you prefer. And for these, I'm actually just going to fold these in half. And what I'll do is I'll fold them in half singly, and then I will stack them together. And if you've ever made a traveler's notebook insert, this is basically how you do it. It's just the scale is different depending on the size of insert that you want. And I think I'll go for five sheets, which gives us four sides, which I'm not even sure if I make it 25 surfaces. It sounds right. <laughs> it's nine o'clock at night to be up at 4.30, just say 25. Okay, so I've got my five. I'll put these to the side for now. I will be doing bulk of these once I get closer to the holiday. I just I need to focus on the actual listings before I work on the free gift part. So I'm gonna stack these together. And because it's small, there is a little bit of overhang, but the way that I designed it, it's still covered by the booklet, so I'm not gonna be doing any adjustments. So let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Oh, I lost count. Well, the reason I lost count is because I, did I have five sheets? Yeah, that's five. All right. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's the first half. And that would make 10 for the second half. So we have 20 surfaces. Let's see how thick this is. Maybe we should add some more. Because I don't want it so thick that I can't staple through it. So this would be six. This would be seven, and this would be eight. So if we got two five by fives per paper, per eight and a half by 11, that means this is four sheets of copier paper, right? I can't do that math. And that little gap still is not that bad, or the little overhang, because I don't know if you can see it, but that's the edge of the first, but because you're stacking and there's thickness, then you've got the other overhang there. And I don't want to chance it um, by cutting that flush. I think it works perfectly fine. Because again, this is a clean edge here. Okay, so, and because it is so narrow, I can actually just use a regular stapler. And we actually should staple from that side. If this were going in a traveler's notebook, 
I'd actually staple so that the prongs are on this side. But because it isn't, it's just going to be a standalone, I want the prongs to be in the center of the book. Because in a traveler's notebook, this rubs against the elastic, and if the prongs are facing up that way, it might actually fray your elastic. But for this, um, it's safer for my customer if the prongs are on the inside because they're less likely to come in contact with that. Okay, and it's just a regular stapler that I can get all the way to the middle. I'm going to kind of eyeball that. And then do the same here. And I'm just gonna put two. It's not that thick, so I don't think it needs more. And then I'm gonna crease this, and I'm going to move these. Okay, and then just play around with that. And that essentially is the little notebook. I do have tons of sticker books, and some of them, like this one, have some sentiments. So, like for this one, and the reason why I chose a bit of a blank space is I want to put something here. Now, if you're making these, then of course you, you don't have to do that, but I did, so I just wanted to put that little thankful there, and it ties in. And this beautiful sticker book was actually sent to me in Happy Mail by my friend Andy of It's a Reading Thing. Definitely go check her channel out. And then essentially, we've got a little journal. Now this is, or at least it should be, it should be wide enough so that if you wanted to take some of your quotes from your Happy Planner sticker books, if you are from the Happy Planner world like I am, which is always put to the front page. Um, it's wide enough so that it'll fit a classic, and by the looks of it, it probably would also fit a big sized sticker. Um, so if you wanted to put one of these quote stickers like this, Autumn is a Second Spring Where Every Leaf is a Flower by Albert Camus. And if you wanted to put there and then do a little bit of journaling, you'd still have enough room where you could put the sticker and then have room on the bottom. But because this is copyweight paper, I wouldn't recommend doing any kind of watercoloring or anything. It's just not meant for that. If you do make it with watercolor, weight paper, then you're going to be using a lot less sheets because that one will bulk up quite a bit. Now the way that I plan to put this together is when the back to school stuff was on sale, I was able to pick these up for $6. There are 12 pens in here and you'll get a new pen. <laughs> the colorway of this, the colorway of the pen, I don't even know. So purchased these from Amazon. Again, guys, I've been thinking about this for a while. And now this was all a set, and if I can find it again, I'll link it below because there's actually two sets in here. So there was this floral watercolor set, and then there is this succulent set. And I believe there's six per pack, and I've got what, six packs? So that's a lot. <laughs> so for this as well, I will, and again, it's all gonna be random because I'm just gonna assembly line these together. So it'll be one sheet of one of these succulent packs and it'll be one sheet of the watercolor packs. And 
And so this, and they're really pretty. And they fit. <laughs> well, maybe not this one, because this one's quite big. Well, if you were to use this in here, I mean, you don't have to, but if you were, then that one right there is a little bit big. And I would put this in one of these cellophane bags. And it'll just fit the sticker. And it will just fit the little journal. I'm gonna push that down. And then it'll just fit the little pen right there on the side. And then, I did get these from Vistaprint, so whoever purchases, or whoever's name is on the invoice will be written here. And there is a little card, because this is just the free gift. There's actually other things that I give in my Etsy orders uh, that are Hawaii-based, but I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And then for this, I do have, <laughs> I know guys, it's kind of extra, but I'm really hoping it's going to be a good weekend for me. So this one I will put on the back here. Happy holidays. And then this one, I would probably attach or tape or something. And there's matching cards because why wouldn't there be? And then this would, I don't know, go on here some somehow. I haven't thought that far. But this is the little thank you gift that will be included with every invoice um, of items purchased in my shop between the 27th and the 1st of December. I also will be running a sale of 20% off everything in the shop. No coupon needed. It's just going to be automatic. And yeah. Now I think maybe you don't have an Etsy shop, but I think this would make a great little stocking stuffer. Now you don't have to go the extra <laughs> like I do. Uh, yeah, because I've, I've been thinking about this for a while, because if you have some of these little things, if you're from the Happy Planner world, you can just include one of these, yeah, because it fits, it fits in the little envelope here. Uh, you can include one of these if you wanted to include a sticker. You can include little posty notes. Um, you wouldn't need to include anything, but I just, I like that it's a little journaling commonplace journal set. I just, I like the look of it. And everything will kind of match because everything's in pinks and salmons and greens, because this I found on Vista Print as well as the thank you cards, and these two match, although that does not match my business card, at least not the flower style, but the colors do because I'm extra. <laughs> All right, guys, well, tell me, would you make any of these and what would you do with them? Do you like the idea of the, the free gift? I think it's sweet, and I'm gonna be bulk doing a bunch of these probably on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to thank my customers for just being awesome. And this is again, only through those uh, selected days. This isn't anything I usually do for my shop items. Sorry, it's, it's getting late. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. And as always, Aloha.